Hi, I hope you're well today. Apologies in advance for my shiny, slightly dishevelled um, demeanour. It's because I've just come back from work and as you do, I thought I'll make a video. So this video today is actually um, a video of hauls and reviews roundup. So I've had a few different things that I've purchased, but on top of that also, I've um, got a few different products, you know, smallish products that I wanted to kind of encapsulate in one review for you. And essentially, um, it would be an idea to, you know, talk to you about the different things I've got that are product and lifestyle based, not just beauty. So starting with, there's a few different purchases behind me, but starting with actually um, a beauty showcase I went to. It was the Olympia Beauty Showcase held at Olympia. And essentially it was where um, beauticians, aestheticians, etc. got together under one roof to basically find out about the newest products, buy some of the products at, you know, a reduced rate than they would normally. So I saw people pulling along trolleys and, you know, different things, surely full of lots of purchases for their business. What was I doing there? Well, basically, bloggers and journalists were invited to to actually see um, what was going on, find out a little bit more about the um, showcase itself, see some of the new products and innovations out there. And also, of course, one of the perks of being a blogger, we came away with a little bit of goodie bag. Now, in the goodie bag, which is here, I actually got one of the things was Dr. Pawpaw, which is a multipurpose soothing balm with natural fermented Poor, poor, whatever that means. So it's for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. Now, I've tried it and um, sad to say, I don't get it. Basically, the colour is very, 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 very pale pink, which means it doesn't really, um, on my skin tone, it doesn't really do anything for me. So I've put it on my the back of my hand and the colour just sort of disappears. It literally is a wash of colour. Um, I've used it on my lips here and it's it's a bit more like a slightly glorified Vaseline if I'm truthful rather than um, a product I would turn to. So sorry, but that's Dr. Pawpaw. If you've got pale and interesting skin, it might have better results for you. Also, I was given, and I'm not tried yet, it's the Pièce de Résistance, the Dermalogica um, travel kit, which is basically the limited edition set. And it's got their daily microfoliant, multi-active toner, skin hydrating mask, um, skin hydrating booster and multivitamin powder film, whatever that may be. I've not had the best um, experience of Dermalogica because basically I, if you've read my blog, you'll see one of my most popular articles is about a facial um, that I um, did in the build up to my wedding and it was with Dermalogica. Nothing so much about the products, everything about the beautician um so do have a look on my blog it was it was borderline hilarious had it not been the build-up to my wedding but um needless to say i will always attach that with dermalogica however i'm trying to go with an open mind and i will try this and um report back if it's of note so there are a couple of other different things in there i've got australian body cares um body cleanser and also a brand i've not heard of called um clap which um, I believe has come from Germany, and they've got, got a reach. They've given me a um, clean and active cleansing lotion and a tonic without alcohol, so a toner. I will um, see my thoughts. It's a brand I've not heard of, and I don't know if you have, so do let me know. It'd be great to hear what you think. And um, the prize for the impulse buy, I guess, for the whole event was... Um, I'm such a mug for these things. Sleeping rollers. So essentially, no time to spare, blow and go, hello great hair. And basically I was told that at the cost of a tenner, so how could I resist, I could have this kind of waves on my very thick straight Asian hair. So essentially, um, I've put the rollers in my hair and the idea is that they're so comfortable you can sleep in them and they're quite foamy and they're kind of, you know, they're kind of thin and you it means that you can actually um, put them in your hair and go to sleep so you don't have to worry about it and in the morning you just take them out. Easier said than done, you don't actually, you can't sleep in them, I'm sorry, I don't know what they say, what other people have tried, I'd be really interested to hear because I for the life of me could not sleep in them. The Velcro pulled my hair, it scratched, the grips hit my scalp, I couldn't really move without discomfort and also your head's kind of raised because yes they're sponge but they don't really bend fully. So um, having said that, um, I will try them instead in the evening when I wash my hair just for a few hours and to see if they add any volume. Um, but. Them. I'm just telling you now. 
So that's my view of that. So that was the Olympia Beauty launch. Another um, on the beauty front still, some products I wanted to bring to mind is actually these really cute itty bitty samples I got from Arbon. Now Arbon, um, I've mentioned them I believe before. They're basically a very fancy version of Avon and um, their products are all over the world. I think it started in America and essentially I've been trying their night repair cream and their corrective eye cream both of which um, were really nice, they're incredibly moisturising and quite rich so great if you've got dry skin. I think the eye cream was particularly nice because it really helped in terms of moisturising, soothing. It doesn't give longevity but I think that's the same with any kind of eye product in that you have to keep using it and obviously as I had only a small sample to play with um, I kind of I used it within probably um, a week, a week and a half but yeah it was they were nice products I must say um, so that's something that's worth a look. And in terms of actually the good grown up stuff, so one of the things I got recently as a gift was um, a Michael Kors watch. Now, I would say it's an impulse white buy, but to be honest, I needed a watch for a while anyway. And this, I think, fit the bill. So basically, you've probably seen them. You can't move for the Michael Kors rose gold plated watches. Now, they're absolutely everywhere and everybody's kind of... Um, gone and bought them including you know my much younger sister and I love the look of the rose gold but it's just a bit same and everybody's got it and I wanted something different so with this one as you can see it's actually got a um, tortoise shell links as well as gold and it's got the rose touch but it's actually more like a bracelet rather than um, an actual sort of straight watch it's more like a dress bracelet so if you look at it like that you know, it sits quite nicely. It's not overly blingy. I can wear it every day, but at the same time, it feels quite dressy and that's quite nice. So, yes, I've got um, a piece of Michael Kors, but not sort of the one that hopefully everybody's got and everybody's seen. I should put that away quite delicately. The other thing, and this is, again, um, a bit naughty of me, another impulse purchase. It was a day of impulse purchases, but essentially I got some Ralph Lauren sunglasses, which I... I really had my eye on and I really wanted to treat myself and get some and I thought you can have one good pair of sunglasses and I would happily buy um, other styles in fakes because I'm I'm not proud I don't mind um, but these were too pretty to not actually have I mean if you look at them I like my big sunglasses and um, they're pretty big they take over my face so they kind of tick that box so this was my um, slight you know designer purchase but you know they're nice sunglasses and I will get wear out of them if I sit on them and break them at any point I will absolutely cry and never buy designer sunglasses again but like I say um, I've not done that yet so I'll try and look after them and keeping with the theme of um, Ralph Lauren I actually bought a couple of bits for the home which I thought were quite nice so for example um, I've got these which is actually their potpourri. Now, who knew they had an extensive home section, but you can buy towels, you can buy throws, you can buy, you know, different types of things, including a Ralph Lauren mug, which happily sits in our kitchen and my husband drinks from. And this one is a scented autumn sunrise um, potpourri. So it's really pretty, it smells really nice, and, you know, it'll help happily freshen up my room. So there you go, who knew? That's Ralph Lauren. And also, along with the same brand... I bought um, this Ralph Lauren Island fragrance diffuser and actually you'll find that they're not as sort of expensive as you think. I think this one was sort of around, you know, £17 it retails at. So you'd probably spend a similar amount in other shops, like if you went to um, Selfridges or House of Fraser. So um, it's not bad. It's quite nice. And ultimately, for me, it wasn't about the brand so much. It was actually that I liked the fragrance. So um, I've waffled on. These were my hauls. I hope I've not missed anything out. If I do, I will um, happily do um, a follow on video. But I just thought, yeah, it sums up a few of the different things I've come across, a few of the different things I've tried. Um, and I'll do more when I do another similar kind of big haul and get it over in one go. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. I'll do beauty reviews and tips and different types of rants, etc. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.